Oh, hey, baby. What's going on? Yeah, of course you can sit next to me. Come here. Oh, I'm just reading through one of my spell books. Gotta keep my memory up to date with everything. No, getting the hand gestures down isn't the most important thing. Don't get me wrong, they do play a role. I mean, why else would I be studying? But what really matters is the passion. The passion and the soul that you put into the spells. <laughs> Babe, it's okay. I know magic confuses you. But I really appreciate that you try to understand. I'm telling you, though, if you want, I could teach you. You're gonna let it be my thing for now? Alright, if you say so. Anyway, was there a reason you came to see me? Did you need something? No, there doesn't have to be a reason. But usually when you want to be around me, you don't ask. You just kind of show up and get all snuggly and I get to smush your cute little cheeks. <laughs> oh, so there is a reason. Is something wrong? Are you sure? No, I'm not doubting you. I just want to be certain. If everything's okay, then what did you want to talk to me about? You want what? Sweetie, I can't hear you when you mumble. Speak clearly. What do you want? You want to be more vulnerable around me? Like, you want to drop your guard and share more personal things with me? Am I understanding that correctly? Oh, no. It's okay. Don't be shy. Of course you can, baby. Yes, of course. We're partners. We're supposed to be able to be vulnerable around each other. I've told you some stuff that I'd never share with anyone else. It would be unfair to say that you can't do the same. Hmm? What do you mean you can't? Did I do something wrong? Sweetie, if I did something to break your trust, please tell me. Whatever it is, I'm sorry. It's not me. Oh, thank goodness. I just want you to be honest with me. So, you say you can't tell me. You know you don't have to tell me anything if you don't want to. Don't think that just because we're dating we need to share literally everything with each other. We don't have to be like that. <laughs> well, then what is it? So, you do want to be vulnerable with me, but you just don't know how to? Okay, well, I totally get that, baby. It's never easy to share something personal with someone, even if you trust them. Of course I understand. I only want you to be comfortable around me whether that means you want to share something or not. Like, you know my friend Alex? He's my best friend, and I don't think badly of him in any way. But I was still kind of nervous when I told him that I practiced magic. Actually, terrified might be the right word. Even for us, telling you at first was so hard. I was so afraid... I thought, I don't know, maybe he'd never talk to me again. Maybe you wouldn't want to be with me. But I eventually worked up the courage. And the first thing he said to me after I told him was, That's awesome. Show me a trick.
you are really accepting of it too. It's okay to take a leap of faith sometimes. I guess I'm just trying to say that I totally understand being scared to share your feelings. Whenever you're ready, I promise I won't see you as any less because of it. Did I say something wrong? You got so quiet all of a sudden. You're ready to tell me, but you're afraid to. Hmm. I think I might have something that can help with that. Um. Oh, wait. Here it is. Sweetie, with your consent, and only with your consent, I can cast a spell that'll help you get into a vulnerable headspace. Yeah, I know you still get nervous when I cast magic around you, but it's going to be okay. And that's why I asked your permission first. I'm not going to, and never will, force you to say yes. But I honestly think this will help. And you know me, I only do magic for good. Uh, you will. Babe, I'm so proud of you. I promise, this is going to be just what you need. Now come here. Come sit on my lap. I know you're taller than me, but I need you to do this for the spell to work. Now get over here. <laughs> okay, good. Now just hold still and take deep breaths while I work my magic. Are you ready, sweetheart? Here we go. Hi, sweetie. How are you feeling? Whoa, whoa, calm down. It's okay. Hey, shh, shh, shh. It's okay. Just take some deep breaths. Everything's gonna be fine. There you go. You're doing so well for me. Good job, baby. What did I do? I shrunk you, silly. Although, you are a bit smaller than I anticipated. I should practice that spell a bit more. It's always easier to shrink inanimate objects than living creatures. Oh, sweetie. Sweetie, calm down. This is to help you feel vulnerable. It's gonna be fine, I promise. After all, you're basically the size of my finger. <laughs> you practically have no choice but to be vulnerable. Don't worry. You're not in any danger. I got you. Your big, strong, witchy girlfriend is here to keep you safe. <laughs> hmm. There you go. You're much calmer now. I know that a sudden size shift like this can be disorienting, but I swear, I'll protect you. Here, climb into my hand. Don't you worry, baby. I won't drop you. <laughs> You're being so, so brave for me. Now, I'm just gonna lift you up very slowly. And I'm going to hold you right here. How's that? Can you hear my heartbeat? Oh, <laughs> you can feel it too? <laughs> well, I suppose you get a nice massage to go along with it. 
It's nice and calming, isn't it? Like a gentle lullaby to help you relax. Go ahead, sweetie. Nuzzle into me even more. Mm, I don't mind. <laughs> In fact, I think cuddles like this will help you feel so much better. Mm, so vulnerable, yet so safe. Nothing can hurt you while I'm holding you this closely. Here in my hands. I love you so much, baby. If there's anything I can do to help you feel protected, I'll do it. And whenever you're ready, you can tell me exactly what you wanted to tell me. And you can share or withhold as much as you want to. And when you're done, just let me know and I'll get you back to your normal size. <laughs> you don't need to thank me, sweetie. I'm doing this because I love you. I want you to feel safe enough to share whatever's on your mind. Oh gosh, you are so cute like this. I mean, you're cute normally, but now you are absolutely adorable. Could I give you a little kiss? <laughs> Yay. Okay, let me think of the best way to do this. Probably easiest just to give you a little peck on the top of your head. Well, little for me, but giant for you. Are you ready? I'm sorry, sweetheart, I couldn't help myself. I just had to give you more than one. <laughs> that expression of yours is just the sweetest thing. <laughs> I know I call you baby a lot, but at this size, you're practically my actual baby. Cute enough to be one, too. <laughs> mm. Okay, I'll stop the teasing. Back to snuggles. Hmm. You know, I think I like being the tall one for once. Maybe when I grow you back, I'll just keep you a tiny bit shorter than I am. <laughs> oh, come on. Wouldn't it be nice to have a girlfriend taller than you? Mm, don't you worry. Like I said before, I won't do anything without your consent. I trust you, and I want you to trust me. Now... Do you think you're ready to share how you've been feeling? You just want a little bit more time? That's okay. Silent cuddles are just as good as any other type of cuddle. Mm, I love you too, sweetie. Remember, you're safe with me. You can tell me anything you want, and I won't judge. Whenever you're ready, I'm all ears. <laughs>